friends, I hope you're having a good day today and I hope you've had a good week. So today I'm going to be talking about and showing you how I have been styling my hair with a pencil flat iron and not necessarily to get curl, but to get volume. So I'll go through the steps that I've been doing when I use the pencil flat iron and we'll see how it turns out. It seems to turn out different every time I do it. As you know, with pixie cuts, like it doesn't matter what you do, it will always look different every time you style it. So anyway, um, I will get started by spraying my hair with some Keat Safe Blowout Spray. This is the Brooklyn Bombshell from Amica. The reason I'm using this Bombshell Blowout Spray is because it protects your hair from extreme heat. I have had trouble with this being so hot in the past, like if I had hairspray on it, it would like slightly turn the color it gets that hot. So we definitely want some kind of thermal protection spray to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair. The good part about that bombshell blowout spray is it's kind of also texturizing, which I like, and it just provides more volume as well. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the blow dry now. Okay, so I'm gonna let this heat up. This is the Red by Kiss Pencil Flat Iron, and it's not heat adjustable. This thing, if I remember correctly, it was around 20, 25 bucks. Um, it was not expensive, and there were a lot of good reviews on this one, so I ended up getting this one, and um, we're just gonna give this a couple minutes to heat up, but as you can tell, if you don't have one of these, it's really tiny. I mean, you've got the two little plates there that probably aren't more than a quarter inch wide. So this is really great for a pixie cut because you can get extremely close to the scalp. So we're gonna try to see how this goes. I, like I said, I sprayed my hair with the blowout spray. I don't think I'm gonna spray anything else on there and I'm gonna go right in with curling it. So, I'm gonna need a comb. I'm just gonna use a kind of a skinny comb here. And I'm gonna start going in. Do you guys ever have those days where you're like, should my hair go down? Should my hair go to the left, to the right? Should it go back? I think this time I wanna um, go kind of have things going back. Um, it just depends on how your hair is laying that day. Honestly, my hair looks different every day. I think I've told you guys this before, but my job, um, I work remotely um, for a company in Dallas and I'm a manager and I'm on video meetings like all day long. And so we are uh, in meetings quite a bit and they're always on video and so people are sometimes say to me like oh my gosh your hair looks different every day and that's because it does but anyway <laughs> um, let's go in I'm gonna start back here so what I'd like to do the general uh, process and my hair is pretty short because I just got it cut less than two weeks ago um, and this is honestly one of the only extra tools I could probably use with my hair this short. Um, it's probably not quite long enough for um, Velcro rollers or well, it could possibly be long enough for that. But Velcro rollers, um, curling iron, I could use like the little tiny curling iron. But as far as anything else, I think this is really, when my hair's this short, this is pretty much all I can do if I decide to use a heat tool. 
So what I'm going to do, I know you couldn't see that, um, but I'm going to start at the scalp, um, grab the hair, and kind of arc it in the way that I want the hair to lay. So we'll try this one. That didn't go extremely well. Let's try that again. There we go. So you can kind of tell that it curled it a little bit, but that's not my ultimate goal is to curl my hair. The ultimate goal is to get volume on my hair. So while I'm working on this, let's chat for a little bit. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers are in different countries. Um, have you guys been keeping up with the coronavirus? I feel like it's getting a little bit scary. Um, my mom is, as you most of you probably know, she lives next door to me and she she's just like really worried about it and she wants to kind of stock up on some food and stuff because I think potentially at some point like companies and schools will like tell everyone to stay home so I'm really curious how it's affecting your part of the country or the world, especially those in Europe. We are just thinking of like, we tried to get on and order some hand sanitizer even, and it was like ridiculous how much it, it costs on Amazon. People are really um, price gouging from what we can tell. So I, <clears throat> we were unable to even get hand sanitizer, which means people are really kind of freaking out about it. But what's, uh, um, what's interesting is we found like a recipe to make your own hand sanitizer and you can use like, I think it was 75% isopropyl alcohol and aloe vera gel. And so we ordered actually a bunch of, um, cleaners and some of those two things and we're going to actually make our own hand sanitizer and then add a couple drops of like essential oils to make it smell good. Like I don't think we need to be freaked out about it. What I think we need to do is I think we just need to be prepared to be kind of at home for a while. If the cities go on lockdown or something like that, we just need to be prepared. Curious, uh, how are you guys preparing or are you preparing? Pandemic kind of things are extremely scary to me. Um, I'm sure to anybody, really. One little thing I noticed here, if you don't arc it right, just right, it might kind of kink it a little bit on the end there. So you've got to be real careful with not kinking your hair at some point. If you have a pencil flat iron, how do you use it on your pixie cut or short hair if you don't have a pixie cut? See, I'm starting to get a lot of volume in the top, which I really like. The goal will be to try to get every piece that I can possibly do. So I'm going to do some of the back. One of my last videos, I asked people what they do um, as their hobbies and I got so many neat responses. It's so neat hearing um, about different people around the world and, and what you guys do for fun. Just to let you know, I have a Q&A planned. Um, in a week or two and so if you would like to ask me a question for me to answer please feel free to either respond to the post that I just made about a week ago um, asking for questions uh, for the Q&A session or you could post your question down below in this video.
All right, still got a few pieces in the back to work on. So let me show you what it looks like now with just putting those little curly pieces in. So here's the left, here's my right side. Okay, um, I feel pretty good about this. I think I'm ready to style now. So um, you can tell like it, it doesn't look extremely curly, um, but what it did is just kind of smoothed out the pieces and gave them more volume. And at this point, what we can do is we can style it. So I am going to use um, my new kind of favorite that I have gotten a lot of suggestions to use this and I finally bought it. It was this Enjoy Dry Wax. I know a lot of you guys have this particular uh, dry wax, which it's becoming one of my fast favorites. Here it is right here. I have had a few requests to uh, suggest products for people that are allergic to perfume kind of scents because pretty much every product has a scent. So I will be doing my research on this, trying to buy some products. So that's gonna be coming soon. I am thinking about that and I'm gonna try to find some products that are cruelty free as well as perfume free. I will keep you updated on that. So here's my Enjoy Dry Wax on the end of my finger and I'm just gonna put it in my hands like this. And what you need to do is you need to really heat activate it to get all the clumps gone. And then we can now distribute with our fingers. super pretty. I'm really enjoying how this is already looking. And as usual, you should always check the back because I do all sorts of crazy things up here and it's perfect. And then I'll look at the back and be like, oh my gosh, I forgot the back. So let's just take a quick look at the back to make sure it's just to my liking. Okay, and then also it's a good idea to get the sides checked out to make sure that you like how everything is laying. Okay, I think we are Good. I really think this came out wonderful. Not only did I get a lot of volume, I got a lot of height. My hair is not sticking to my head. It's very, very pretty. So I am going to spray my hair with this um, Heritage Flexible Hold Hairspray. This is a new brand that Walmart is now selling. I actually have the shampoo and the conditioner, which is, they're wonderful actually and they're, um, they're not terribly pricey. Um, they're probably more expensive than the typical shampoo and conditioner you'd get at Walmart. I, I wanna say like the sh each of these costs maybe 10, 10 or $12, something like that. Anyways, uh, coming soon, whenever I can collect all the different products they, they offer, I plan on doing a heritage video of this brand, just using their hair products. So what I've seen so far, I'm really impressed. I like it, what do you guys think? Great, great tool to do your pixie cut. I think it's really easy to use. It gets down to the root, um, which is really hard to do like with a curling iron. It's more tailored than a look that you would get with just a blow dryer. You could probably get a similar look with hot curlers. This is not as curly, it, it seems to just be more of a volume, but there is some curl to it. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to, and hit the notification bell, and that will let you know 
when my videos do come out. So just to let you know, I've started kind of formalizing when I do release videos. I do put out a new video every Saturday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Have a nice weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.